foolishly believing that our yesterdays are instructive. We're going to do this in the original key that was used in the performance on the Ed Sullivan Show. You only need these basic chords, but I'll be going over these three not quite so basic chords. You need an E minor 7, and an E7 is very easy. It's like a G chord, but you don't need to have your ring finger on the E string. So going from an F to an E7, not hard at all. You also need a G minor 6. So speaking of F again, it's like an F chord, but you move it down to the floor. So instead of being on the E and G string, you're on the A and C string. You also need a B flat. And I've got some tips for B flat. Don't hate me. You will B flat's one of my favorite chords because of the things you can do with it besides just B flat. Take your index finger and roll it up towards your nut to get the bony portion of your finger more in contact with your fretboard so you get more grip on these two strings. And then reaching across, the biggest thing that you have to do is make sure that your very tip tip of the finger is what's touching the string and you have to have enough strength to do this. To help you with that strength issue, you can use your forearm and press your instrument into your hand rather than just your hand pressing into the instrument. And my last tip is if that all seems too complicated, try barring it all the way across on the first fret and then getting these two. That works for some people. You're going to need to go from the B flat to the G minor 6. Let's practice it together, two down strums on each one. Ready? Begin. B flat twice, G minor 6 twice, B flat twice, G minor 6 twice, and B flat twice, G minor 6 twice, one more time, B flat twice, G minor 6 twice. Let's move on to the strumming. About half the chords in this song only get two beats, so you're going to be changing every two beats, so why not do a two beat strum? It looks like this on an F. Down, down, up, down, down. But there are two instances in the verses and the chorus where you're going to use a chord that needs four beats, so do the island strum there. Down, down. But you could also double up that two beat strum and just do, do that twice. In the chorus there are instances where a chord only gets one beat. So it looks like these, it sounds like this. Why she idea on that. In fact, let's just go through the chorus right now without any pesky lyrics, just as a practice session to get those chords slowly and accurately. One, two, ready, begin. Why seven, two, the really tough line that we get in each of the verses. In the first line of each verse you have a D minor going to a C and they have to share four beats but they share it, you know, C is only on beat four and then you go into a B flat. This is what I recommend and this is what it sounds like. Down, down, up, up, C, B flat, down, up. I'll do that again. So 
if you look at it, that, that D minor is taking up most of an island strum, but we modify it at the end so that you just get one down strum on beat four with the C, and then you have to make it to the B flat. It's very challenging. Let's go through the first line as a practice session and going into that B flat. Get you, let's do it. One, two, ready, begin. Down. on YouTube to slow me down or heaven forbid if I'm going too slow. Speed me up. Let's practice the verse slowly. No pesky lyrics. One, two, ready, begin. this helpful on your ukulele journey. I respond to all my comments because I'm a small enough channel so far. Although, don't forget to like and subscribe and maybe I won't be a small channel. Uh, just a little pro tip there is on the end of each of the verses, I like to do a split island strum instead of doing it a B flat, down, up, and down, up. I like to do it like this. yesterday. Yesterday. So it fits the lyrics of the words and so my hand just naturally follows my voice. Oh, speaking of voice, we're going to do a history nerd section. We're going to play along and at the very end I will give you some vocal tips. The Beatles released this song in 1965 as a single and there's some curious reasons behind that. Well, first of all, this was a Paul McCartney tune even though it's credited as uh, Lennon McCartney. But um, he said it came to him in a dream, and he woke up and immediately had to go to the piano and kind of get a rough draft put down. But he was so worried that he had plagiarized something subconsciously. So he actually did quite a bit of like research, seeing to, uh, talking to friends and things like that. Did, did he somehow subconsciously borrow liberally from uh, another song? And people were saying, no, that sounds pretty original. Uh, then they had such a hard time kind of figuring out how to put it all together. In fact, uh, they, they did some uh, really good troubleshooting when they were in uh, Lisbon, Portugal on tour. But um, John Lennon talks about this, that then when they were working it over in the studio and, and they just couldn't come up with a title and things weren't going well. And I think this is so funny that the working title they had for it was Scrambled Eggs. <laughs> as just a, you know, a joke. And so can you imagine this song not being called Yesterday? So a little insight into the creative genius. Well, this was a benchmark tune for the Beatles. It was so dramatically different from, you know, she loves me, yeah, 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 or Twist and Shout, and all those, you know, more teeny boppy um, songs that they were doing that got them so much of their popular boost in the beginning. So they were a little bit skeptical of releasing this on an album and one of the things that they did that was so 
groundbreaking with this is they used studio musician, musicians and they hired a string quartet to come in and provide the background. So pretty much it's Paul McCartney on his guitar and a string quartet. So they just were unsure about this song. Hard to believe, huh? Yeah, that uh, taking such a risk would give us such a beautiful song. Before we get into the play along, just a reminder, patrons have access to all my chord charts and you keep this channel going. Thank you so much to all my patrons and if you'd like to get all my chord charts and would like to have two Zoom sessions a month with me, consider becoming a patron at $3 a month. I think that's a bargain and I love to get to know my patrons. Thank you so very much. Let's play together. To start the song, you're going to start on an AA, but you go right away to an F. Yesterday, there's our starting pitches. One, two, here we go. some singing tips though. I went and watched the Ed Sullivan performance that Paul McCartney did and it's just like oh okay I see what he's doing. He sounds so natural but he is working it folks. He is doing a very British thing. Um, he is making the, his mouth opening very vertical. He's getting more vertical rather than horizontal. And, you know think of I have an American accent, obviously, and yesterday we tend to have more of this kind of stuff, and it gets a little bit more nasal that way. So to get more tone, this me sound a little more tone, a little British, uh, is you're getting a little more of this opening happening, and also echoing that inside your mouth. Now, I can't show you inside my mouth, but it's more rounded, like ooh keep that ooh sound and then open your lips a little bit more. Speaking of your lips, what he's also doing is he's flaring his lips, uh, the outer edges of his lips. I'll see if I can zoom in and show you a little bit of that, you know, kind of like fish lips kind of thing so that he is uh, getting more like a, almost like a little trumpet flare to help that project. 
Um, a way to cheat in that that I learned is if you kind of sing the song just like this. That little aid can help you figure out how to do that. Well, how do I know that? Well, because I taught general music for so many years and I had to take singing training as part of my continuing education. So I hope that helps you. All right. Should be recommending something else for you here from YouTube. Thank you so much for watching to the end. And don't forget, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already.